If you're not familiar with macros, they're basically a sequence of shortcuts that you use one after the other, and you can trigger that sequence of shortcuts using only one key. So for example, instead of trying to drop the volume of the breaths in your audio by hitting R to select the range tool, selecting the breath, then hitting Control Alt L to adjust the audio level, typing negative 12 to drop the level to minus 12 dB, and then hitting Enter, only to have to repeat that process for every single breath. You can just use the range tool to select the breath and hit one button. The thing with macros and keyboard shortcuts in general is that they help you to edit faster and save you time. But by using the Monogram Creative Console, I'm able to group my macros and shortcuts into specific editing tasks, like editing talking head or interview footage, audio editing, multicam editing, speed ramping, etc. The result of grouping macros and keyboard shortcuts by the editing function is that I move my hand around the keyboard a lot less often, and instead of having to hit multiple keys at the same time or in a sequence to carry out a specific task, I'm able to replace all of that with just one button. And actions that I repeat often during a specific task, like audio editing, for example, are all close together. Saving time on hand movements and hitting shortcuts even if only a fraction of a second, all adds up, especially when you repeat that action hundreds of times per day. When we get to the audio section, I'll show you how that breath macro works. Here's another example. You might know that if you have a few layers in the timeline, you can select them all and shorten them by using the shortcut, alt, and the right square bracket, but you can't extend all those layers simultaneously. You have to do them one by one. Unless, of course, you have a macro setup that allows you to select all of the layers and hit one button to extend them to your playhead. Pretty cool, right? I'll show you how to do that later in the video. I made a whole video dedicated to the Monogram Creative Console and how it can be used for color grading, amongst other things. In that video, I also mentioned how powerful the key modules are in terms of allowing me to edit faster. Monogram kindly sent me two more key modules so that I could show you what is possible when you use the Creative Console in Final Cut Pro. Let's take a look at my general editing layout, which helps me to edit talking head footage, interviews, or even B-roll a lot faster. The core module has these previous and next buttons, which allow you to switch between different layouts. If I press and hold one of those, I get an overlay of all my different assigned functions. So having a look at the editing layout, I have J, K, and L for my playback. If you're not familiar with those shortcuts, J plays back in reverse, K pauses, and L plays back forwards. I have Command B to make cuts, and I have the shortcuts Alt left bracket and Alt right bracket, which allows me to trim the beginning and ends of clips. Using these dials, I'm also able to adjust the rotation, scale, opacity, and position of a clip. And I have a macro setup for extend clips, which I'll show you in a second, as well as a macro setup for B-roll. Then I have two quick keys for deleting clips using the backspace key, and for creating gap clips using Alt W. So let's have a look at that in action. I can scrub over with my playhead to this point, make a cut, trim. This is all a mistake, so I will trim to there. Can go ahead and just cut out anything that doesn't need to be here. If I wanna play back, I can simply use my playhead and play it back. I can tap L again to play back in double speed, and let's say I wanted to stop there. Now for this clip, let's say we wanted to remove this item that's sticking out in the corner. I can use my dials and just scale that clip up also, this clip doesn't look like it's totally straight, so I can just rotate it slightly, and then I can adjust the position to put me in the center. As you can see, it's super quick and easy to make those kinds of adjustments. If you want to undo it, you can just use these dials to reset the rotation, reset the scale, and the X and Y position. Often when I'm cutting interviews or talking head footage, I want to break it up into segments. So let's assume this is segment one and this is segment two, and I want to separate that using a gap clip. I'll move my playhead to between those two segments, and I'll just create a quick gap clip. I can also go ahead and delete certain sections totally if I want. And another thing I do with B-roll is I sometimes go and I cut out a certain section that I want to lift from the primary storyline, and I can do it with that macro. Let's have a quick look at that macro in the Monogram Creator app. I'll click on B-roll here, and you'll see I've got two shortcuts set up. So I hover my playhead over the portion of the clip that I want to lift from the primary storyline. I generally do this with B-roll. I then hit C to select the clip, and Command Alt and the up arrow to lift it from the primary storyline. I spoke earlier about extending multiple clips at the same time. In this case, we have a color bar, a title, and a logo. 
And let's say I wanted to extend all three of these clips to the end of this clip on the primary storyline, I'd have to normally go one by one and just extend all of these clips to get there. So I'll undo that and I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way. So let's do it without using the macro. I'd hit Control D to change the duration of all the selected clips. I'd hit plus 15, zero, zero to extend them all by 15 seconds. And then I would move my playhead to the end of this clip and hit Alt and the square bracket to trim all of them to the end of this clip. So let's undo all of that and I'll show you how the macro works. You simply select the three clips, move your playhead to the end and hit the macro. If we open up the Monogram Creator app, I'll show you exactly what's happening there. So on the press command on that dial, we're activating all of these different shortcuts. So first we're going Control D to change the duration of those three clips. Next is it says equals, but it's the plus sign on the keyboard. And then 1500 to extend all of those clips by 15 seconds. If you want to extend by much longer, you would adjust this maybe to a minute or something like that. And then hit enter. And lastly, Alt and the right square bracket to trim all of those clips to your playhead. I have another layout that is specifically used for editing audio. When I'm editing podcasts in Final Cut Pro, I group them into a compound clip. So I have speaker one and speaker two in that same compound clip. If I zoom in here, you'll see that when speaker two is not speaking, we have a whole lot of background noise and the same for speaker one. So I'll use one of my macros here to silence those areas. I'll just go ahead and select the part I want to silence over here and I'll hit silence. So I can move through this podcast really quickly, just muting out anything that I think will make a noise in the final exported version. I have another macro set up for breaths. So using my range tool again, let's say I want to reduce these breaths or even if this is laughter, I can simply go ahead and drop it like that by 12 dBs. Let's go back to the Monogram Creator app so you can see what was happening there. I essentially have my JK and L keys for playback and my cutting keys exactly the same as my editing layout. But in the audio layout, I have this macro set up for silences. And what that does is based on the range that I've selected, it triggers the shortcut Alt Control L to adjust the level, minus 99 for dBs and enter. And that drops the audio level by 99 dBs. If I go over to breaths, you'll see it's pretty much the same shortcut, but instead of 99, we have minus 12 dBs to drop the audio volume down by 12 dBs. Then I have a few dials that are unassigned here. So I've changed the color of these, which you can do in the Monogram Creator app. I've changed the color to black so that it's clear to me that these dials have no function right now in this layout. But I do also have two other functions over here and I'll quickly show you what those are. So let's go back to my compound clip. Let's go ahead and just make a few cuts here quickly. Let's cut out some stuff just so that we have something to work with. And let's just make another cut over here. And I'll go ahead and I'll select these clips and I'll create a crossfade using the shortcut Alt T. If I zoom in over here, you can see how we have a crossfade between these two clips. I can use the other dial to solo a section if I like. I simply select what I want to solo and hit that button just to solo that and I can go back out. Another thing I do a lot of is multicam editing and I have a layout for that as well. If we have a look at my multicam setup, you can see that my playback and trimming keys are still the same because I use that often. So I've kept those consistent across the layouts, but I have numpad one, two, and three here to switch between the different angles. So I'll hit command shift seven to open up my multicam viewer and command control one to hide my browser. So you'll see here we have an audio track, a wide and a close up. I can simply scrub through here, making some cuts and changing angles as I see fit. So I'll go ahead and change this to angle three, which is the close up. And over here, I will go back to angle two. And you can sort of just jump between angles really quickly using this setup. The other shortcuts in this layout are the ability to switch my multicam between audio and video, video only and audio only. So if you have a look up here at the multicam, you can see that this means only the video will switch when I change angles. I can use these shortcuts to switch between video and audio, video only and audio only. So that's a really handy way to control my multicam using this layout. Lastly, let's have a look at my speed ramping layout. The speed ramping layout is really fun because with the touch of a button, I can speed up a clip or a section of a clip by two, four, eight and 20 times. I can set a clip to automatic speed if I'm working with slow motion footage or high frame rate footage. I can reset the clip to normal speed. I can make a blade speed cut. I can reverse a clip and I can create a hold frame. I can also slow footage down to 10, 25 or 50% and using the shortcut command R, I can show and hide my retime editor. So let's have a quick look at that example. If you look at this clip in the browser, we have 60 frames per second footage. 
so I can use the automatic speed key to just set my clip to 40%, meaning I don't drop any frames by slowing this clip down. Let's say as this ball hits that ball over there, I want to select this range maybe to about there and speed that up by four times. Then I want to make a custom speed ramp over here. So I'll just make a blade speed cut and I'll make another one over here and I can just speed that clip up to about 90%. I can also go ahead and select this range over here and let's say I want to slow that down to 25%. Or maybe I want to create a hold frame towards the end of this clip. So now I've totally messed this clip up. I can easily just go back to normal 100% over there. And if I need to, I can reverse the clip as well. So that's pretty handy. Lastly, I can show and hide my Retime Editor as well. The Monogram community also shares their different setups for different apps. So if you don't want to try and figure out your own setups, you can simply download the layouts and start using them. I have uploaded all of my layouts that you see in this video, which you can find by doing a quick search, and you can just download these and get straight into editing. Ever since incorporating the Monogram Creative Console into my workflow, I have honestly been editing three to five times faster than before. Color grading, a TV show that used to take me two days, now takes me less than a day. Editing multi-track podcast audio is easily five times faster than before, and it's the same with multicam editing and speed ramping. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description down below to get $40 off when you make a purchase. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy seeing how I color grade using the Monogram console, so check that out over here or in the description below.